Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotion. To thank you so much for our time together. I want to talk to you about the fact that there are some things that just need to be removed in your life. Maybe these are relationships. Maybe these are old businesses. Maybe these are old programs and procedures that you do in your life. Whatever they are, there are old things that once had life that are now dead that are stopping the growth of the new things God wants to grow in your life. In Proverbs chapter 27, verse 25, it says, When the hay is removed and the new growth appears and the grass from the hills is gathered in. When the new hay is removed and the new grass appears. Hay is simply old grass that had life, has now been cut off from life, and is just laying there on the ground. But have you ever seen a field where long grass has been cut down and just left to lay on top? What does it do to all the grass underneath it? It kills it. It stops the sunlight from getting through. It keeps it way too moist so that you get fungus and things growing that, that kills the roots of the grass. In order for grass to grow healthy, you can't leave it covered over with big long strips of dead grass and everything's just covered over and no sunlight gets in and too much moisture stays contained. It can't grow. You have to remove the old hay and then the new growth can come up. Some of you have relationships in your life that once had life and now they're dead. You need to get rid of those relationships. I know people get mad at me when I say that, when I say things like when your friends change, change friends. But that's the way life is. If you're going to move forward with God, the thing you have to understand about God is that God keeps moving. God is life. Life keeps growing. Life keeps moving. And when death enters in, God keeps moving. Now, when relationships have died because of sin, move on. There are new relationships that God wants to bring into your life. When there are things in your life that are dead, don't let them stay in your life. Don't let dead relationships stay in your life because it will stop all the new things from coming up from underneath. All the new growth, all the, the new relationships and the new things that God has for you are just right there below the surface waiting to grow if you'll get the old dead stuff out of the way so that the blessings can flow to it. I challenge you today, take a good look at your life and look around at things that once had life and are now dead and remove them and move on in Jesus' name.